What's up everybody welcome to my channel and in today's video we'll be uh, we'll be learning how to print stuff on the screen using python so let's get started um i'm gonna go ahead and open idle in my computer to start programming with python um you can use any other id if you want as well if you, you can use jupyter notebook or you can do it on the console as well but for now i'm just gonna use idle because this comes in this comes built in with uh, python when you install it on windows anyway so let's get started so to print stuff on the screen there is a built-in function in python like in most languages uh, it's called print obviously <laughs> so let's say you want to print something for example let's say you want to print hello and hello world so you run it and I guess you have to save it first so let's hello world okay so it's printing hello world on the screen now you see that I'm uh, I'm enclosing this piece of text in quotes that's because it's a string now if we have to print uh, a number or let's say something else which is not a string then we don't have to enclose in uh, enclose it in uh, codes for example if i had to print 56 and i press ok so i see 56 is being printed without the codes as well so if we write in the codes let's see what happens it's still printing 56 so i guess you're wondering what's the difference so the difference is that when you're writing 56 enclosed in codes it's treating it as string so what I mean by that is when you, for example, let's say that you say 56 plus 54 and now you run it, you'll see that it's printing 5654, five, not adding the two numbers, it's concaten concatenating them. So that's because they're strings, but if you would write them like this, 56 plus 54, now you save it and you run it, you see it's printing 110 because, because that's uh, how uh, you would so you would be printing integers on the screen without the code also uh, there is another way to print the strings you can also enclose them within single quotes it doesn't matter python does python doesn't discriminate so let's say that if you're saying something like hello now you run it see it's printing hello and it's the same but what you can to do is that you cannot do it like this where one is a single code and one is a double code. If you do that, it's gonna say you are well, getting string literal. Because you see that this bracket is still green. It's because it's also treating the, uh, that as a part of the string, but it's not finding any enclosing the what's it called? It's not finding any enclosing code. So that's why it, uh, that's why it's doing that. So but what if you want to print something which has uh, if you if you you want to print a string which has a single code or a double part in it? For example, um, my cat's hat is cute. For example, what if you want to do that? So you see, it has a single code in it, but if you want to print it. You're, going, you're not going to have any problems and it, it's going to print that out. But what if you did this? What if you had a single code? Um, excuse me. Okay. Now if you run it, you see it's going to say invalid syntax. And that's because there's a single code and there's a single code here. It's thinking that this is a string and the remaining part is not a part of the string. What you have to do is you have to either use double quotes like we did before what you can do is you can use single quotes but you would have to use something that's called an escape character like this if you use this forward slash and now you print it you'll see that it's printing the same it's not printing the forward slash here so it's still printing my cat's hat is cute or whatever the whatever string we have here it's not going to print that escape and this is only going to work if you're using it behind uh, something like a code or something that Python treats as something special, which is, you know, 
uh, which Python treats as special. For example, if you want to print the, let's say, at the rate, I guess, I guess it's not in Python. It's and in uh, it's found in another language, it's found in different languages, but it's not in Python. So let's say that we want to print. What if we want to print a backslash here or a forward slash here? How are we going to do that? Because it's not because it's not going to print this here. So what do we do? What you can do is you can add another forward slash, and another one. So what's happening here is this forward slash, this one here, is escaping this single quote here, and now this forward slash is escaping this one here. So we are going to have my cat forward slash because because it is being escaped with this one here, and then we're going to have the single quote, and then we're going to have the S and the remaining string. Let's see if it's working. Okay, so it's so we can see that it, it does work like that. Perfect. So what else we can do with printing? Uh, okay, so we can print variables. For example, let's say that we have a variable called hello, which has something, let's say blue. You want to print blue on the screen. So you hello it's printing blue because this variable hello stores a string which has a value of blue if you change this value to something else it's going to print that so you can see that printing that stuff here so this is how printing stuff works in python um let me also go ahead and uh, tell you about the comments how commenting works in python let's say that you want to give the give yourself or Anybody who's reading your code some some extra information or some information about the piece of code that you've written here You can enclose it in quotes. You can enclose it uh, in triple quotes like this like uh, this is my first Python program oops program or you can mark a comment like this This is second Comment Okay, if you run this, we're going to see that, that it doesn't have any effect the output of the code. That's because it's being commented out. So Python does not, Python's uh, compiler, I mean Python's interpreter, it does not read that statement. So it's, so it's ignoring that because it's not meant for the program to read it, it's meant for users, for the humans, whoever's reading the program. So this is how commenting works. I already told you how the printing works. Let's see what's left. Um, okay, concatenating strings. Okay, so you have hello here. Let's print good morning and let's store somebody's name in this one. For example, Bruce. And you want to print hello plus name. Now you print it. You're going to see that it's printing good morning, Bruce. but we see that there is no space in between good morning and Bruce and that's because we don't have that in the string. We don't have any space here and we don't have any space here. So Python, it does not give us space automatically. It does not add it. So we would have to either do this. We would either have to add that space here or we have to add it here. Or what we can do is we can concatenate it like this. So we see that uh, here this is going to be replaced by good morning. This is going to be replaced by a single space because this is actually a space and this is going to be replaced by Bruce. So we should see good morning Bruce on the screen when we, when we print it. So let's see. Perfect. It's printing good morning Bruce here as we expected it. So this is all about printing stuff on the screen with Python. In the next video, we'll talk about how to take input from the user and then do all kinds of stuff with the input that we take. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.